Yeah, Mike and Jared, many wondering tonight, so was it a voter fraud scheme or something else? Investigators are now trying to determine why it is that more than 300 recall ballots were found inside a man's car at this 7-Eleven in Torrance. More than 300 mail-in ballots for the governor's recall race were found inside a car parked at this torn 7-Eleven with a man sleeping inside of it. So that's kind of the part where we're at now with this investigation is everyone wants to know two questions. Why were the ballots in his vehicle? What was his intent with those ballots? And that's what we're trying to figure out. It was an employee at the convenience store on Emerald Street near Hawthorne Boulevard that alerted police last Monday around 10.45 p.m. about the man sleeping in his driver's seat. And stolen ballots weren't all police found inside the car. There was Xanax, a gun, meth, and other mail. He was arrested on several charges related to possession of the firearm, the narcotics, uh, the uh, theft of identity theft, as well as receiving stolen property and some other charges as well. Several agencies, including Torrance Police, the U.S. Postal Service, and the L.A. County District Attorney's Office, are now investigating how these stolen ballots ended up inside a convicted felon's back seat. Police say most of the ballots were for Lawndale residents and a few for Compton. We have been working with the registrar's office to get them a list of all those uh, names that were on those ballots so they can be notified and then new ballots can be resent to them in time. The election to recall Governor Gavin Newsom is set for September 14th. Hopefully they, the election isn't um, rigged this time or, or if it was last time, I'm not sure, but hopefully there is no uh, fraud. Ba fraud ballots out there. And investigators are also looking into whether this incident is connected to any other theft of recall ballots. For now, reporting live here in Torrance, Mary Beth McDade will send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth.